People are really upset about it and I'm going to tell you why it's a good thing. Apple has revealed a new MacBook Pro and what has stood out for some is that it has a notch seemingly a cutout shape at the top of the screen. It houses the new 1080p webcam. It has a true tone sensor for balancing colors, a light sensor, and a green LED to show when the camera is on. The reaction has been anger, you've got your jokes, and the memes, and the embedded Microsoft reporters too. But is it actually a bad thing? Let's take a closer look. One criticism that's been leveled at MacBook Pros over recent years is that Apple has prioritized form over function, going for the sleekest, thinnest design at the expense of ports. So with the notch, some of the underlying criticism stems from a worry that this is happening again, but it isn't. In fact, it's the opposite. For many years, MacBooks have been using 720p webcams as the components are small and 1080p webcam components have been too large to fit in the bezel. However, in the post-pandemic era of work from home, the webcam's importance has been elevated as it has been central to running businesses and running lives. But 720p doesn't cut it anymore. It's not detailed enough, not sharp enough, not clear enough, looks dark in low light conditions. It has improved with its software so that it can maximize the appearance, but there is only so much it can do. It can't create new details. So. Apple has made the overdue decision to include a 1080p webcam, but the components need more space. So what is the best way to resolve this dilemma? Apple could have put the camera in a key like on the Huawei MateBook, but that's an inelegant solution and video taken from underneath is not flattering. It could have put it at the top in the big bezel and then had the screen underneath as it's done traditionally, but having a smaller bezel is far more attractive and immersive. It could have made the screen reach near the top then add a notch covering some of the screen area, even though it's still active. This is what happens with the iPhone 10 and the later models. But what Apple did is it kept the same dimensions and then added some extra active display area and moved the menu bar up and nothing else. This means any program you use will not have a section missing from it, but you get the visual appeal or the menu filling the top area at the size of the notch. It may also be a preemptive measure for the cutout to have the space to add FaceTime sensors in future models. So you have a higher quality 1080p webcam, a very slim bezel. When using programs, you retain the full screen areas before, no notch cutouts. The menu bar reaches near the top of the bezel so it looks visually attractive. This is function prioritized and giving you form too. On balance, the notch is the best solution.